Hello, I'm Storm Tracker 19 weather meteorologist Matt Schaefer. There is a risk for tornadoes with tomorrow's round of severe weather. It is a low risk, not zero, but I can't rule it out. Highest will be west of the Mississippi River and Highway 53. Uh, so kind of a north south line generally through La Crosse is uh, where that risk is. For straight line wind gusts, uh, we're in the medium up to 70 miles an hour and hail. That's a medium as well, up to two inches in diameter for uh, the strongest storms that form. So I can't rule that out anywhere across the Cooley region. It does look to be like it'll be an active day. Here's future casts showing as we go overnight, fairly clear and calm, starting sunshine uh, tomorrow morning, but it should quickly become fairly cloudy as the first storms start to approach us from the west in the late morning. Midday is the first round through early afternoon, two o'clock scattered strong thunderstorms likely through the Cooley region. Uh, not everybody gets that first round and it might settle to our south, but with some sunshine, we'll reload the atmosphere for more waves here. Uh, most of the activity is near and south of high I-90, but as we get later in the night, we'll get more chances off to the north as well, lingering 4 a.m. possibly on Thursday with a few scattered showers, maybe storms possible Thursday itself, though Thursday's rounds should not be severe. For tonight, low of 59, mostly clear and light wind. Tomorrow, 87, it will be a little bit humid as the clouds increase and we get storm chances. They're likely in the afternoon and evening, but not at all places at all times, especially further north of I-90, the chances are a little lower for at least storm coverage, though the severity of any storms that do form is similar everywhere. It's going to be a bit breezy as well as these storms move through. Uh, Thursday, there's still a slight chance for some rain, especially in the morning, along with the humidity, which will be decreasing as the day goes on. Lesser humidity, sunny and 82, a really nice Friday is ahead of us. And then on Saturday, another chance for showers and storms. Once that first round goes through, we'll start to get humid again Saturday night through early next week. And the temperatures turn up too. We could be near 90 degrees for Father's Day, especially if we get some breaks from the rain and storms. I don't think it'll be a washout all at weekend, but there are chances pretty much at all times. A few could linger into Monday and more chances return next week. Tuesday with that heat and humidity, very summer-like beginning Father's Day weekend and continuing next week.